guys it's the real deal welcome back to the channel guys we're gonna be putting shards today we've got 17 in the bank a little bit low we did blow a few um, so we could get the awakening for uh scored definitely worth it because it's gonna help just like massively bump up his damage um but yes yeah, and also polarium i don't know if this is a mistake or what is going on but i've never seen a champion chase uh, for the fusion where it's like this low usually around the 3k mark so i'm not sure if i'm going to just pull stop a sort of 15,000, or are we going to try and get both legendary books it's really difficult because i kind of want legendary books but i kind of want to save my sacreds at the same time as well so it's, it's hard it's a tr it's a real real tricky one um i guess champions that i'm after is anyone that is going to help my account with Hydra, but mainly supports. I am blessed when it comes to Nukas, but any form of support would be good. Um, I would really like to get a copy of Estrogen. There she is, Estrogen. She would be great for the account. Um, she is pretty, pretty baller when it comes to Hydra. Um, Shadowkin, uh, Michinaki. I mean, okay, he's a Nuka, but he brings so much to the table. He is doing it all. Definitely would love to get him on an account. And it's probably just basically anyone that's going to throw out slows, um, turn meter boost and block debuffs. That's probably like the main things I'm looking for. But yeah, let's go for it. There's also um, a chance to get uh, Freya. Literally no interest in her at all. Um, yeah, I just feel it's like an average kit. And for where I am at the game, I have no idea where she would help me. Maybe in Arena, but again yeah she's nothing too special in my opinion um hopefully we don't get her i will rage if i get a copy of her so let's see and you know now that we can empower epics as well they definitely have a lot more value um especially with like cursey as well uh skaramarus i've not used him looks pretty cool um but yeah i think i've got copies of him maybe i'll empower him okay uh Goal cut, um, kind of like a lot of people select on this champion can do as much damage as Trunda, but I, I'm trying to remember how. Like, I think it was, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's this guy, but you need to sort of do some setup for it to work. So, yeah, um, not, not a great pull to be honest. Oh, Broodlord, I've never seen him pulled out. Um, again, just someone that just sat in my vault. Looks pretty solid though, like bringing lots of CC, um, loads of buffs as well. Very good for like sort of an early game progression champion. And we still have not pulled a legendary Anax. Anax, I think this guy drops a lot of poisons. Probably good for like clan boss, especially like unkillable keen comps. But where is the gold, guys? That's why we're here. And yeah, it's not going our way. Grimskin, no thanks. All right, let's have a look. Where are we when it comes to points? So we've achieved what we set out to do. Um, oh, we're bang on the money. So how many, how many shards is that? Six. Okay, I'm going to go for six more because we can pick up a legendary book then. And then the rest are just going to go and save him because, I don't know, I feel like the pull rates have been turned off today. Yeah, we def it was legendary, wasn't it? We want that Lego book. Yeah, it just it helps a lot for personal rewards, CBC. And also, of course, we want to book our champion. Oh, here we go. Virgum Car. Oh, my God. Like, how many copies have I got of this guy? Um, I think that's got to be number three, number four. Um, damn. Like, is this for real? Um, where would I find it? In here, maybe? Where's the filter? Ah, oh, but that massively sucks balls, guys. Um, especially when you're free to play. You know, you've got no money. You can't afford to... Four. Number four. And Lizardman's maxed out. Why couldn't it be a dupe? 
for something else like, I don't know, High Elves. Look at this. Literally, I'm nowhere near getting that extra 10 speed for my Arb in, <laughs> in Faction Wars. Ah, oh, Faction Wars, Faction Guardians for High Elves. Redonkulous. Anyway. Um, so, how are we doing for points? Champion Chess. Oh, so a legend is just like double. Okay, it's not like massive points. Um, yeah, so let's just pull a few more. Come on, can we get something juicy? I mean, that is just painful. Virgum Khan. Muslim Mage, actually really solid. Uh, another champion brings loads of buffs. When um, this is like maxed out or you have the Awakening, you get block debuffs as well. Pairs up really nicely with Seer. It can just blow waves away. Um, used to use him actually for every single floor in Doom Tower uh, with Seer, so definitely usable. Another uh, Broodlord. And what we got here? Oh, Lady Annabelle. I've, again, no, I've never used her, but Revive on Death can actually be really sweet. Um, increase speed as well. Decrease speed and leech. Hmm. She looks pretty solid, actually. Not bad. Not bad at all. Oh, I just want another legendary now. I've got the hunger. I've got the taste. Rock Breaker, uh, pretty good. Um, Bings Provoke, an old school champion. Um, usable to like help you get through faction wars all the way up to 21. And we've got the legendary book. So there's no point in pulling out. We have to stay strong, guys. Do not pull beyond this. Um, I'm not going to be able to get this other legendary book. So it's just not worth it. And I feel like we're just going to pull more trash. And I definitely do not want to be getting Freya. No way. So I think we're going to call that a day. Um, I hope you guys have way, way better luck than me. And, you know, like you can see as well, like I just actually, do you know, before we call it a day, there's just a few things I want to quickly point out. I've been sitting on my voids for ages, end game free to play. Um, I've probably not pulled to get 180. That's probably like five months, I reckon, of saving. Um, Primal Shards, 24. That's about three months, I reckon, of saving. But I've been sitting on my shards. And the other thing is, I just want to give like a real gem of advice. So I've been telling people to skip champion training. So you get like tournaments and events, you get like four a month. Skip one of them. No, no. Skip three of them, only do one. You need to do one for your monthly quests. But look how many brews I've got. I've never had so many brews in my life. And it just makes life so much easier. Chickens. If we look at my chicken, my chickens, look at that. That is just off the Richter scale. 45, five star, 130, 193, four star. Um, but yeah, if we come across any tournaments like there was before where you could win five star Harima from champion training tournament, that will be a walk in the park. I, I struggled to do this last time and I had nowhere near the result. I think I've wrapped up something like, say 60k points with like these brews these chickens i am on another level right now i could easily just progress so hard so that is my like and that's for that's an end game player tip do not if you're like early game you need to do every single champion training you need those legendary books you need to be leveling up champions so you're strong enough but yeah but anyway guys i hope you have way better luck than me uh, if you're new to the channel please leave me a cheeky thumbs up make sure you smash a smash that subscribe and also, make sure you go watch Wolverine and Deadpool. Such a sick film. That's the end of the video, guys. Peace.